All right, what's up subscribers? Um, today I have a my April favorites video. I know a lot of people haven't been actually putting them up early, but I'm just getting around to it now. Um, I actually woke up sick this morning, so this is kind of late. It will go up tonight though. Um, I don't have a lot, um, just a few things just to show you guys, so let's get started. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start with more so like shower type things. I have a Olay Ultra Moisture Body Wash Shea Butter. Pretty sure I show this in my Target haul, which I'll link here. You guys can check that out. This is very moisturizing. Um, with the Shea Butter, it is amazing. And it does say after four showers, but I think after you get out of the shower, it's amazing. Okay, so next I have a hair item. As you can tell, I have curled my hair today, kind of. I put hot rollers in. I'm not the best with hair. Um, I just kind of put them in and shake the curls out and then hairspray it. Um, I'm not really that big into hair. I can do my own, that's about it. So I've been loving the Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray. This gives an amazing hold. This is extra hold hairspray. Um, and without the crunchiness, um, I do have a Tresemme hairspray and it's nice, but it just makes your hair crunchy and, and like all you can smell around your face is hairspray. With this, I don't smell anything. I just like, I don't feel like I have a ton of hairspray on which is what I want. Moving on to skincare. I have a new toner. This is the Lush Aroma Water Toner Water. A gentle rose and lavender tonic for everyday use that helps hydrate skin sensitive or mature skin without causing it to overreact. This is a very rose lavendery smell. Um, it is, I don't know if you can tell but I'm sick right now. It's really easy, you wash your face, spritz this on and apply moisturizer and you're done. So getting cotton pad out, wiping it all over your face, pat, like, waiting for it to dry, and then applying moisturizer. You just spray your face with this a couple times, and then I normally just pat it in or I just let it soak in. This was, I think, 7 or $8, which isn't bad. It'll last me quite a while. Next, I'll go on to um, nails, and then I'll move on to makeup. As you guys can tell, I do have a nail polish on. This is the famous Essie's Mint Candy Apple. My nails are pretty chip right now, um, I've had it on for like almost a week. It's actually done pretty good, but as you can see, they are chipping, but this is an amazing color. So, so hot for spring, and such a nice pale green color. Okay, moving on to makeup. So, I have a Real Techniques powder brush. This is just a very big, fluffy, soft brush that I use with my MAC MSF to set my makeup with. And I have the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation on today. I really like it. It's nice and lightweight. Um, I'm not going to put it in my favorites video, but I just thought I'd mention it. Um, I do use a MAC MSF to set it. It's very, very light, as I said, and it gives a light to medium coverage. It is buildable to medium. Other than that, it's a great foundation. And this brush um, is so amazing and so soft to set makeup with. I think this is about 8 or $9 plus shipping from iHerb.com. I'll leave the website link right here, and it says powder brush on it. I mean, you can use it for bronzer, or blush, or whatever you want, but it is a pretty big, fluffy brush. So, moving along to makeup. So, as I said, I like to set my makeup with a MAC MSF. You guys have seen this. This is just the uh, medium one. It's a little dark for me during the winter, but I'm not going to go and buy another one just because. Um, I just use this one all year round. I find you don't have to be too perfect with color matching with these because I mean they give up a little bit of color when you if you use them to set your makeup but other than that they're there's really no color they just are awesome for setting makeup next is a blush I'm actually wearing today it is the Milani baked blush in luminoso um, Miss Glamorazzi and makeup by Ali they had this blush and it's a really really nice peachy color There is a brush underneath it, which I don't use. This can be, this is a really nice peach, pinky peach color. More so like NARS Orgasm, I guess. I don't have NARS Orgasm, but I've heard this is similar. This, if you have a strong hand with it, it's going to look too much. So you really need to like put a little bit on your brush and tap it off and then just kind of work it and go back in for more if you need. I wouldn't suggest getting a ton on your brush and just like swiping it on your face. You're going to have way too much. Um, it is has a shimmer in it, it's not matte, 
So you do have to be careful with this, I found. Um, they are $9.99, but I'm not a really big blush fan. Maybe just a little bit of blush every day and I'm good to go. But I just thought this was a really, really pretty peach color for spring, summer. Just a little bit of color in the cheeks. Okay, so next I have two, I have two BB creams that are the same. Um, you guys know I love these. This is the, they're both the same but different shades. Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream in Light Sheer Tint. This was more so my winter color as it was pretty pale in the winter. Um, I would also sometimes mix this with a foundation. But now is summer and spring are coming and I'm going to be getting a little bit of color so this was too light. But I'm transitioning in from winter to spring, this is too dark. So I mix them together and when my skin is behaving is only really the time I wear these because they are pretty much, there's almost like no coverage with these. Like there is a little bit, but um, when my skin's being good, I will use these, mix them together right now and then just buff them on with a Real Techniques buffing brush and I do set it and that's it. Simple and easy. This will be my permanent summer shade, the light to medium. And then this will be more so like fall, winter. But these are so cheap. Amazing. Amazing for a drugstore uh, BB cream. Alright, so three more items. Um, this is the just the Rimmel Scandalize. Um, waterproof Cold Kajal in the nude color. This is just like a brightening for the waterline. I guess you could use it other places too, but this is just a really nice nude color for the waterline just to brighten up the eyes. I find white is a little bit too much for me on my light skin tone, so I prefer a nude color. And I finally found these in Canada. I know they were pretty much limited to the UK, but I finally found them at a Target in Guelph, Ontario. And next is a concealer that has been out for quite a while now. It is the, it's actually all rubbed off. It's the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch, I think. This is in the shade Ivory. This is perfect for under eyes and brightening. I wouldn't really use it as a blemish concealer because it's not really for that. It's more so like highlighting and brightening. So if you use it in a triangle shape under your eyes and really buff and blend it in, it just brings a lot of light to under your eyes and so you don't have dark bags under your eyes if you do. This would be perfect. You can also use it along your cheekbone just and just pat it in as a highlighter if you don't have a highlight. So this is perfect, amazing. You do like, you click, you do click it up for more product and it has a brush. When you first get it, you do have to click it up like a lot to get the product working up into the brush. Just be careful um, because the first, I was clicking, clicking, clicking it and then you get a whole blob, but um, just be careful with that. But other than that, they're like eight or nine dollars, which I mean, I think is worth it. It is cheap for a drugstore concealer and it has multiple uses. Okay, last but not least is um, actually, is a product that I, a friend had recommended to me and she knew I was looking for a good liquid liner. Um, I did buy the Maybelline Duo Eye Studio one. It's like the one where it has like a little ball and you can turn it and it has a thicker thin line. That was the worst liquid liner I have ever bought. As I said in my other video, I put it on and it started peeling off. And on the other eye, the same thing. So absolutely useless. Um, such a waste of money. I will never, I, I might give it another try just to see if it does it again and then it's going in the garbage if it does. If it doesn't, I might keep it around, but I. I just don't think I'm going to like it. So she turned me on to the L'Oreal Carbon Black La Intense Liquid Liner with a felt tip pen. This has a ball in it. This is like carbon black and it has like the easiest felt tip to use. So black, so easy to use. Um, I got it on sale as well, so that made it so much better. This, I highly, highly recommend. If you're looking for a liquid liner, this is what you want. All right, guys, so that is it for my April favorites. There are just a few products that I've been loving this month. I'll leave all my links down below. 
You guys can check those out, and I'll leave my blog right here. You guys can check that out, www.thisgirlbeauty.com. Until next time, see you later. Bye.